Good morning, my name is Claire, and today I'll be showing you what a typical day is like for me as an English teacher in Jeju Island, South Korea. So a little bit about myself. I am originally from Florida in the United States. I've been living here in Jeju since August of 2018, so about a year and three months, and I am a public school teacher through the EPIC program. So I am about to head to work for the day. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my car, so if you have any questions about what it's like to have a car in Korea or getting a license or driving here, you can definitely ask me those. I left the question box in the slide before this one. And also I wanted to mention that I do teach at three middle schools. So in Jeju, it's quite common for the public school teachers to teach at multiple schools. Um, yeah, so I'm about to head to the school that I work at on Wednesdays and Fridays and I will try to film a little bit in my classes and answer your questions later. break now I'm at a little park near my school so I'll try to answer a few questions I got a lot of questions specifically related to the epic program and public schools so I'll go ahead and answer a couple of those first uh, I did intend to work in public schools when I started the process of coming to Korea uh, when I was doing my research on working at public schools versus private academies uh, personally, for me, it seemed that there were more benefits to working at a public school. For example, the EPIC program now offers you get 26 vacation days on your year contract. And I have friends who work at some academies where they only have, you know, five or six. Uh, there are benefits of working at Hagwans or private academies, but it really just depends on what you're looking for. Public school schedules are also during the day because you're working uh, during normal school hours. So typically, uh, most teachers here work from about 8.30 to 4.30. Private schools, on the other hand, go later into the evening. So if you like to sleep in, go to work later, uh, that's an option, but then you have to stay at work until maybe nine or eight o'clock. Alright, so now that I'm home, I can show you around my apartment quickly. It's a very small studio apartment. But anyways, when you walk in, the bathroom is right here in this room. There's a closet here for shoes and other storage. And then, this is my kitchen. Uh, it came with a fridge and a microwave. The toaster oven and all that I bought. And yeah table, my bed, and then I have these two closets for clothes. That closet has uh, the boiler in there, and then there's some more storage here. So uh, Epic provides the apartment for you in Jeju. A lot of teachers live in the same apartment blocks. Uh, I know in other parts of Korea, usually it's because our, the apartment is in relation to where your school is. Here, that's not really the case. I know people who travel really far to their schools uh, because they have limited apartments here. But yeah, most jobs, if not all of the ESL jobs in Korea, uh, will provide you with free housing. So it's really great. Okay, so the last question I'm going to answer is what I think the most difficult thing was for me in the entire process. Um, I'm not sure if that means leading up to moving here or while living here, but for me, I think the most difficult thing was adjusting to three new work environments instead of one because I work at three schools. So it did take time for me to get used to how each school works. You know, they have their own textbooks, their own way of running things. 
Uh, so my advice for that is to just be patient with everything, yourself, your coworkers, your students, and eventually you'll, you know, establish a routine at each school and you'll be okay. And all right, if you have any other questions about teaching English in Korea or abroad, feel free to send me a message on my personal Instagram. I will put it on the screen. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you are considering getting your TEFL certification, I would recommend you just do it because it is totally worth it no matter where you decide to teach. All right, thanks again and have a good night.